Wetlands are home to some of the coolest reptiles. Where I am in Georgia, I have the luxury of looking for them. Since it's my last day in the south, I really want to find an eastern ribbon snake. While it is a common snake, I haven't managed to see one yet. In order to find the snake, I need to start looking now. I just stopped by the side of the road because there was a juvenile alligator crossing it. The yellow and black markings confirm that it's an alligator. When an alligator is growing up, it starts to lose this patterning and becomes more solid black. Alongside losing their color through maturity, alligators also change their diet. As juveniles, alligators eat small insects and maybe frogs. In contrast, adult gators can feed on a larger spectrum of food. After admiring the alligator, I was reminded of the fact that I had a ribbon snake to find, so I left the alligator where it was safe. Next, I flipped a log and found the southeastern five-line skink. Like a lot of the other skinks I'm trying to find, the southeastern five-line skink eats mainly invertebrates, like insects and spiders. Aside from this species, I also really wanted to find a broad-headed skink, which is a closely related animal. Broad-headed skinks were commonly called scorpions because people thought they had a venomous sting. While this has been long disproven by scientists, there is a good chance that broad-headed skinks have a foul taste to deter predators from eating them. Moving Moving on, I found what was probably a southern chorus frog, but I'm honestly not so sure because it was pretty far away. While this isn't the reptile, these tiny frogs are still really cool. After a little longer, I found another reptile, but this one was pretty strange. This is not an eastern ribbon snake, but an eastern glass lizard. And even though it might look like a snake, it isn't. While snakes have internal ears, lizards have external ear openings. Snakes also have a scale over the eye, preventing them from blinking, while lizards do occasionally blink. You might be wondering why legless lizards don't have any legs. The answer isn't so simple. It is believed that snakes evolved from monitor lizards and lost their legs through burrowing. The forked tongues can be found in both monitor lizards and snakes. In turn, there are a plethora of other legless lizard groups, aside from the glass lizard, that have evolved from lizard groups in their own way. It is believed that the subfamily of glass lizards, Anguinae, which includes the eastern glass lizard, originated from Greenland. The day was quickly coming to an end, and I was starting to wonder if I would ever find an eastern ribbon snake. After having given up, I spotted a snake on the road. It just happened to be the snake I have been looking for.